Okay. All right. Let's go to the next one, uh, which is um, inquiring PDFs, and this is a this is an interesting concept because um, ChatGPT, when you ask ChatGPT a question, it's going to ask a question on the entire universe of information that it has. But there might be a situation where you own, you want to use ChatGPT like technology, but limited to only a narrow uh, piece of information, and that could be particularly uh, useful. So let me open up. Um, I'm going to open up a document here, uh, the P17. So P17, to give you some context, P17 IRS, uh, this is publication 17. This is a 138-page a document that the IRS gives you and lets you, um, you know, read the instructions of the IRS. Also, if you want to ask a question that's very specific to this, um, to this PDF, I can come in here and go back here and, and ask a very specific question. Let's go in here and press uh, enter. So what does financially disabled mean? And it's going to give me an answer within the context of that PDF, which is publication 17. So now it's telling you exactly what it means, okay? Whereas if I were to ask, you know, Google, what does financially disabled mean or something like that, I'm gonna get a very generic answer uh, what does financially disabled mean, okay? So if I ask something like this, I may not get, um, you know, any like an IRS uh, uh, answer. As a matter of fact, look, none of this stuff is even going to the IRS. It's all random things that Google figures out what financial disabled mean, okay? Whereas, you know, in here, there's an actual specific set of, of, of terms um, that is going to search within. So I can say, um, and it tells you it's page 20. There it is, page 20. So I can say, um, uh, which uh, doctor statements would I need or something like that. Something that, again, if you ask Google this, it's going to give you some random piece of, of information. This thing's actually going in there and giving you a breakdown of, uh, of that answer, okay? Again, within the context of that specific PDF. So for five bucks a month, you know, I'm able to chat with, with my PDFs. That could be really, really useful. Uh, so I have this document here, which is um, a guide on how to do things in, in QuickBooks. It's actually a PDF book that I, that I own. Um, and actually, I, I own the rights to this book. So what I can do is I can load up this PDF and then ask it, you know, a very specific question about it okay to some random place in this pdf and see if i can ask a very specific question uh let's go in here and uh i can do this receive items and enter bill or something like that so i can ask in this pdf and say why would i receive items and enter bill press something like that and then it's going to find within that pdf uh the answer okay or, or try to figure out the answer for you and there it is, okay? You might choose to receive items and enter building QuickBooks if you wanna do blah, 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 okay? And again, if you have your own internal documents that are not public information, and you wanna like find something quickly and know where it is and, um, and which page is on, uh, that's gonna be pretty powerful stuff. And the nice thing too, it, it, it does contextual stuff. So it's not like only verbatim this stuff. Um, you know, I could, I could use it differently, like saying, you know, um, this is received, right? So receiving bills uh, with items. What is that for? So notice I'm changing the syntax. I'm, I'm using stuff that if I was searching this inside my PDF, uh, it would have find it. So let's just go really quick here. So if I go to my PDF and do a control F and, and paste and go uh, next, it won't, it won't find anything, okay? Why? Because the, the, the specific syntax, the specific text, it's not, you know, like, remember, we're no longer doing find this exact text. Th this is now using contextual stuff. So now notice that it, it, it changed the concept, receiving bills with items, what is that for? It changed it to receiving items and entering bills in QuickBooks. So it actually understood using the chat GPT engine that what you meant to ask was something else that what the actual specific to, uh, question was. So that's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Um, just the concept itself 
is pretty impressive. So that's um, so that's the concept of using um, inquiring PDFs.